Welcome to your inspirational astrology weekend forecast for the weekend of February 23rd and 24th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Mercury retrograded this weekend, pow, in Pisces. This is a very powerful Mercury retrograde. In my astrological view, this is about the direction in our life of where spirit is pulling us. Most importantly, understanding the blocks that are getting in between our highest vibrations, but most importantly, the high vibrations are necessary for us to get what it is we truly desire and passionately, emotionally want in our life. That's because this Mercury retrograde made a perfect trine over to the North Node in Scorpio, at the same time making a slight conjunction to Mars in Pisces, which is the direction of our lives, having to flow with spirit, really intuitively having to follow all the signs to know where we're going. This is so powerful because this retrograde will go deep into soul. We are taking a submarine deep dive down into our soul to dig up all of the unconscious realms. These are the plankton in our lives. You know, a lot like plankton, you know, they're there, but can you believe huge whales eat all that? That's what they eat, plankton? It's like the parts of ourselves that we don't see that are there, that actually are heavy enough to feed a whale. <laughs> I, know, I don't know where I get this shit. But that is really what we are coming under into a clarity with. This isn't where the microscope really works. It only works in really going with the flow, seeing the invisible, following the signs, following our dreams. And with Mercury retrograde, with all these planets and Pisces, this is the clearest indicator from the universe that right now in your life, there is invisible, deep sensitivities, deep emotional wounds, deep emotional desires and passions that we need to realign and we need to go with in order to get what it is we want in our life. And this weekend taps into our heart energy to make sure that we understand emotionally what it is we love. We understand the love for ourselves. We also have to get back into that self-love energy. You know, there hasn't been a lot of that around. We've been very lost. We've had to go through a lot of Aquarius energy. You know, this gives us a dose of, oh yeah, we came down here to shine, right? We came down here to have some fun. So this weekend, find some fun. This weekend, make sure you look in the mirror and remember, we're going with the flow, baby. It's time to do your hair. It's time to make sure that you love yourself. It's time to make sure you love spirit. It's also time to make sure that your emotions about your own love, about the love of your life, help you understand what is also getting in between you getting what you love. There are deep desires that you want. There are deep things that you love. And this is where we come into a great way to understand what it is we love, what it is we truly are passionate for, and why don't we have this? It's not about getting frustrated why we don't have it. It's about emotionally being charged in our love to know that we're going to overcome any of the obstacles in our life to get what it is that we love, to get the what is our highest vibration. You know, this comes down to whether you're holy or not. I mean, this comes down to like... The holiest of the holiest really will get all of their dreams to come true and their passions and their love. I thought it was so funny that it was Margarita Day on Friday, okay, with all this crazy Pisces energy, and I just saw everybody just like, yeah, all right, yeah, and you know, there's nothing wrong with escaping, but this is where we're also finding out where are you just always escaping? Why are you escaping? Is it to have fun? That's a very good, like, Leo energy, like, yeah, to have fun. But this is going to be the process in the next three weeks of is your drinking causing a problem in your life actually? Is, but I, it's finding out how do you vibrate the highest? How do you make yourself connect with the universe on the deepest level. Now Sunday, very powerful day because the moon still in Leo is going to oppose Venus and Aquarius. And this is also getting ready for a full moon which is coming on Monday and as Venus is going to step into Pisces, we're getting at this last moment for the moon and Venus to oppose in Leo and Aquarius to make sure that we send our emotions of our heart up to that Venus and Aquarius. Venus and Aquarius wanting to try new things, really connect to all the people in the world, really find our groups as well, and make sure that our values are in a new place. But this makes sure that we get that dose of emotion of like, remember that we love this, bro. That's that energy, like telling your own spiritual self this weekend, like, Gosh, you know, I have tried all these new things, but it's that last dose this weekend of like right before we step into Venus moving into Pisces where things are really going to change. 
It's like, oh yeah, I do love this. I should be in that area, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should be valuing this. That's right. So this weekend gives a very clear indication of you get this last moment here to make sure that you set in motion with the people in your life all the different values in your life, all the new things that you're ready to go do, the future you're going to step into here with love, the future you're going to step into here with people. You make sure you give this last dose this weekend of, oh my God, that's right, and I do it because I love this. So tap into love. This is the weekend of love, baby. And if you're having problems accessing love, you will find it this weekend. You will find out the blocks that are getting in between your heart. You will find out if you're drinking too much and if that's where you access your heart. If you can only have fun by being drunk, guess what? There's a huge problem. And that's what this will unveil this weekend. If you feel that you have to be in love, and this might even tap into some weird partnership stuff because it is Venus and Aquarius, this teaches you where love does not come only from people or partnerships. It comes everywhere, infinitely. And you need to teach this last lesson. The moon teaches this last lesson to Venus, like, hey, mofo, like, it's great to just, like, connect to the world and, you know, have all this great electricity and be parts of groups, but you need to remember that there is love and love is infinite and that you need to connect your love to the world. You need to collect, connect your love to your value of your own self and always feel that love within. So, I hope you enjoy this Mercury retrograde because we're about to go really crazy. Monday is going to be very powerful. I can't wait for you guys, you know, to really dip into Monday with me because we are going on a magical, really wild submarine ride this week. And this weekend, I hope you find all the love in the world. And if you have any questions, hit me up, david-palmer.com. If you want to get a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I got 15, 30, 60, 90 minute readings. And I have my astro coaching all at david-palmer.com. And I'll see you guys on Monday for the big full moon and a lot more Mercury Retrograde.